was good cuz welcome back to the channel today I'm bringing you all another MLB the show 21 diamond dynasty rankings video and in today's video we are talking the top 10 catchers in the game right now I dropped a video earlier today of the top 10 first baseman so if you haven't seen that video make sure to go check it out but if you're excited for this one do me a favor hit the like button hit that subscribe button if you are new I'd greatly appreciate it but without further ado I hope you all enjoy the video and let's get it Minica, watch me on Twitch. Ooh, I'm streaming. I'm on YouTube. Subscribe to the channel. Red button beaming. Let's get that sub count. Take over YouTube. Ooh, we teaming. My content so high. Ooh, yeah, I'm steaming. Ooh, yeah, I'm steaming. Red button beaming. Ladies and gentlemen, I am back on MLB The Show 21 Diamond Dynasty, and today we are talking the top 10 catchers in the game right now. If you missed the video I dropped earlier today of the top 10 first baseman, make sure to go check that video out. Just like my other rankings list, these are going to be just my opinion. If you disagree or you agree with my list, that is completely okay. Leave your comments down below of your top 10 catchers. Also, these will be primary positions only, so guys like Kyle Schwarber will not be on this list, but let's get into it. At number 10 to get a start is the 95 overall Carlos Santana with diamond hitting and gold defense and this card's outdated at this point there are a lot better options at the catcher position that's why he finds himself at number 10 77 contact against righties 97 against lefties 97 power against righties and 86 against lefties an okay fielder 76 fielding 83 arm 79 arm accuracy 77 reaction time and 75 blocking he does have decent speed though for a catcher at 52 do you want to say that if you do want to pick up the carlos santana though like i said i think he's pretty outdated in my opinion there are better options at the catcher position that we're going to get to in a minute but he's 40k on the market at number nine we have this 95 overall jonah heim car with diamond hitting and diamond defense switch hitting bat a lot of switch hitting catchers in this game 75 contact against righties 73 against lefties good power numbers though 103 power against righties 107 against lefties so not the best contact numbers but really good power numbers like i said switch hitter love to get switch hitters in your lineup 79 fielding 86 arms 77 arm accuracy 78 reaction time and 88 blocking so decent defensive stats nothing crazy but they're not bad either 42 speed and he's very very affordable Affordable. All these tops now cards are pretty cheap on the market. If you're on a budget, you can get this card for 9k. At number eight, we have this 95 overall future stars Luis Campusano card with diamond hitting and diamond defense. And this card's pretty well rounded. Doesn't do anything crazy good, but nothing bad either. Pretty good card all around. 96 contact against righties, 104 against lefties, 77 power against righties, and 105 against lefties. 81 fielding, 84 arm, 85 arm accuracy, 73 reaction time, and 86 blocking. Has a good arm, has good reaction time, has good blocking. So he's a pretty good catcher behind the plate defensively. This catcher position is very, very deep, honestly. This Luis Campusano card is a very good card, and he's at number eight. If you want to pick him up, he's 44K on the market. At number seven, we have this 95 overall Sebi Zavala card, and let me know in the comments down below if I mispronounce his name, but I think I got it with diamond hitting and diamond defense. Really good hitting stats against righty arms. Okay stats against lefties, 101 contact against righties, 93 against lefties, 115 power against righties, 86 against lefties, and then good defensive stats. Nothing crazy good but they're pretty solid 80 fielding 85 arm 83 arm accuracy 78 reaction time and 85 blocking also comes with 44 speed i feel like a lot of the catchers we've covered so far have the same defensive stats or very close to them but again the tops now cards are very very cheap if you're on a budget this card only costs you 9k at number six we have this 96 overall mike zanino from the team of fantasy season three program and if this card had better contact against righties he'd be higher up on the list he'd probably be like a top four top three catcher in the game right now but with only 45 contact against righties he's probably unplayable especially if you're in a higher difficulty like Hall of Fame or a legend that 45 contact against righties his PCI size is going to be extremely small and unusable 118 contact against lefties though is really good so if your opponent's starting a lefty maybe you could throw him into the starting lineup keep him on your bench see what you could do there 125 power against righties and lefties is obviously excellent as good as it's going to get with 125 against both sides he's also a good fielder 86 fielding 79 arm 92 arm accuracy 89 reaction time and 92 blocking 38 speed nothing crazy for a catcher but like I said, if he had better contact against righties, he'd be way higher up on the list. But he doesn't. That's why he's here at number six. If you want to pick him up, though, he's in the AL East Team, if any, season three. Before I get into my top five catchers in the game right now, if you're enjoying the video and you're finding it useful, do me a favor. Hit the like button. Hit that subscribe button if you are new. I'd greatly appreciate it. Make sure to go check out the video I dropped earlier today of the top 10 first baseman in the game. But let's get back into it. To get my top five started, at number five, we're going to have the 97 overall JT Riamuto card here. The first of two JT Riamutos we're going to see on this list with diamond hitting and diamond defense and this card is not as good as his all-star game card that's why he finds himself at number five here 100 contact against righties 101 power against righties i think his all-star game card has the exact same stats except for his contact and power against lefties 
That's why his all-star game card is better. They improved his stats there. 86 concept against lefties and 70 power against lefties on this card. Not the best, but really good fielding. That's from Riamuto has the best arm on the list. 80 fielding, 98 arm, 89 arm accuracy, 82 reaction time, and 89 blocking. He is also the fastest catcher on this list at 74 speed, which is really nice because he's a pretty fast catcher. 74 speed for the catcher position is amazing. If you want to pick up this JT Riamuto, he's in the NL East team of Finney season three. At number four, we have the 95 overall silver slugger Jorge Posada card with diamond hitting and gold defense. And this Posada card is just an improved version of his 90 overall card that a lot of people love. At the beginning of the year, I think the only stat he went down in compared to the 90 overall was his contact against righties, but it's still pretty good at 87. 97 contact against lefties is good. 99 power against righties and 103 against lefties is really good. Switch hitting bat, which is awesome. 80 fielding, 80 arms, 77 arm accuracy, 77 reaction time at 82 blocking. This card's defensive stats are way better than the 90 overall. I believe the 90 overall was like 60s across the board. This card is pretty much 80s across the board. Obviously, Jorge Posada, not the fastest, so he only has 30 speed. If you want to pick up this Posada card, you can get it for 70k on the market, or you can get him in the BR program. At number three, we have the 95 overall Salvador Perez, the first of two Salvador Perez's we're going to see on this list. We'll talk about the other one in a little bit. With diamond hitting, silver defense, this card, obviously not the defender the other Perez is because it's a home run derby card. They didn't give him the best defensive stats, but he's an amazing hitter. He's actually a better hitter, probably, than the other Salvador Perez card with 97 content against righties, 95 against lefties, and then 117 power against both righties and lefties. That is amazing. 70 fielding, though, 70 arm, 69 arm accuracy, 77 reaction time, and 69 blocking. So, like I said, not the defender. The other Perez is because he's a home run derby card. Also has 19 speed, so that's pretty bad. Very, very slow card here from the Salvador Perez. But if you want to pick him up, he's very affordable. 26K on the market. At number two, we have the 98 overall All-Star Game, JT Riomuto with diamond hitting and diamond defense. And like I said earlier, the Team Affinity Season 3 card of Riomuto is the exact same card this All-Star Game version is, except this card has better hitting stats against lefty arms, 100 contact against righties, 97 against lefties, 101 power against righties, and 92 against lefties. The defensive stats are the exact same as the other Riomuto card. 80 fielding, 98 arm, 89 arm accuracy, 82 reaction time, and 89 blocking. 74 speed, like I said earlier, really good for a catcher, fastest catcher on this list. And 27 steal. If you want to pick up this Riomuto, he's 94K on the market. And last but not least, at number one, my favorite catcher in the game right now is the 97 overall Salvador Perez card with diamond hitting and diamond defense. And like I said earlier about the home run derby card, this card's still a good hitter, but he's a way better field than the home run derby version of Perez. 95 contact against righties, and then he's completely maxed out against lefty arms. 125 contact and power against lefties, and then 92 power against righties is not bad either, and much improved fielding stats from the home run derby version. We have 82 fielding, 82 arm, 81 arm accuracy, 89 reaction time, and 81 blocking. They also boosted his speed quite a bit with 40 speed here, which is nice. If you want to pick up this Salvador Perez, he's free in the AL Central Team of Fanny Season 3. Okay, everyone, that's going to do it for the video today. My top 10 catchers in the game right now. If you enjoyed the video and you found it useful, do me a favor, hit the like button, hit that subscribe button if you are new. Let me know in the comments down below that you disagree or agree with my list. Also, if you haven't checked out my video I dropped earlier today of my top 10 first basemen, make sure to go check that one out. If you would like to, you can follow me on my social links, which are on the screen for you all right now, including my Twitter, TikTok, Instagram, Twitch, stuff like that. But that's new for me today, everyone. I'll see you in the next video. Have a great rest of your day. Peace out.